Some websites that require Java plugins can break down. Well, I can show you how to fix that. What's up guys, my name is Kobuman, and in this video I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot Java. Uh, the reason for this is some websites require Java plugins that require for them to run properly. Like for example, some database websites, some websites that contain database, they use Java plugins that are embedded within the website. And even some, some websites can even have things like games embedded within a website. Okay, so in order to troubleshoot this, there are a couple of ways we can go about this. Uh, one way to get to it first is through a control panel. So here's your control panel, and within here, you would look for an icon that says Java. So go ahead and just go ahead and click on that, and here we're gonna come across a Java control panel. And from here, we can uh, troubleshoot a couple of different things. Now, just real quick, let me show you a roundabout way of telling you exactly where this control panel is within uh, Windows. So if you open up your computer, go to local C drive, and then from here you go to program files x86 and the reason for that is because in my case we have a 32-bit version of java it says 32-bit so in order for it to be in a 32-bit folder it would be program files x86 otherwise it would be in just program files in regular program files if it was a 64-bit so if i go in here and program files x86 and scroll down uh, i will find a java folder which is this right here so if I click on it and then click on Java Runtime 1.845 uh, Update 45 and then go to bin and within here uh, we will find the Java CPL which is the same thing as what we just showed in here. So let's go ahead and, and reset our Java settings so that way we can troubleshoot Java web-based plugins, right? So this is web-based and after this I'll show you how to troubleshoot uh, programs that are locally installed that are Java-based. Okay, so let's go back, back to our control panel for Java. So once again, you just click on Java here and this is your control panel. So uh, in order to uh, troubleshoot this, we can simply the if quickest way is to reset Java within the browser itself. And the best way to do this, and the only way to do this, is to do it through a um, tab here on the on the right hand side called security. So from left uh, left side to the right, it's a fourth tab over. Okay, so you want to go through security. Now, first we're gonna do and go ahead and disable Java within our browser. Now you gotta make sure that your web browser is shut down. So if you're running Internet Explorer, make sure it's fully closed before you do this, okay? So your Internet Explorer is closed, and then we could just go ahead and reset it, and the, the, the way we do this, we're just gonna click, uncheck this, enable Java content um, in the browser. So this will disable all Java uh, that is web-based. So any, any Internet, um, any, any website that uses Java will be um, disabled. So this is one way to reset it. And this ha sometimes you'd have to do this basically, um, well, sometimes it's the website itself that causes the issue that we, you, will make you have to do this. Sometimes you will get a Java update that causes it to be broken. So this is how you would reset it. So you would uncheck it, click apply. And just a sec, I got a pop-up here. I know you can see it. It's basically saying, do you want to allow a program to make changes to your computer? Um, and then I clicked yes. And if you get that as well, um, it will let you do that. It may take a little bit, and it says here that your Java plugin settings have changed. So now it's basically disabled. Okay. So now we all we gotta do from here is just re-enable. So same difference. We just gotta make sure go back here and select the check mark, click apply. The same thing. It's uh, asking me. This is just a uh, uh, user controls. Uh, that I probably you guys can see it. I apologize for that. But anyways, this is gonna re-enable it. Okay, and it's just gonna take a moment here while it does so. And then once it's re-enabled, uh, we can go back to our website and uh, rerun and, and, and go to our website and you will get a pop-up asking you whether you want to run Java or not, which is the plugin. Okay, so if you do get a pop-up asking you Basically, what do you want to do? Do you want to open or you save this? So basically the website is asking you, what do you want to do with this Java plugin? You would have to go ahead and associate that file with Java. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Let me just go ahead and close this out and I'll get back to you guys real quick, okay? So basically what would happen is you go to your favorite website and let me just go ahead and pull up an explorer here. You would get a similar pop-up here. Uh, basically, it would ask you, you go to your website, right? You type in your website, you, you just, in this case, you go to msn.com and it says, well, we have this Java, embedded Java within the website and we're trying to run it. And you can suddenly you get this pop-up similar to this here, except it would say open or save. And it would 
give you the name of this file that it tries to run. It would basically be a Java a, uh, Java file, and it doesn't know what to do with it. Well, you gotta tell it what to do with it because it's confused. Okay, um, a lot of times it would do it automatically, but occasionally, once you reset that what we did earlier, resetting the Java, um, it will it, it may not know what to do with it. Okay, so in order to do that, you can just go ahead and click open. If you get it here, it says click open, or you can save and then go to it within downloads, but you can just click open. So when you open, it's gonna be like. It's, it's going to say, well, what, what, what do I do open it with? So in order to do that, you would have to go to that same Java folder that I showed you earlier. So in my case, let's say that this is the saved file, um, same save file that we got a pop up earlier of. And now I got to tell it to open up with Java. I would right click it, go to properties and here under general tab, see how it right now is trying to open it with the Windows photo viewer. I would just go ahead and click change here. So from here, you can click browse from here you would click browse okay and now we're going to navigate to our java folder so if you remember from earlier it's program files it was in the under c program files x86 which is here and then you scroll down and we're going to look for our java folder i may have missed it here where did it go where did it go where did it go ah there it is java folder double click it and then double click on this folder too and then go to bin just like we did earlier but instead of clicking on java control panel we don't want that we want java ws which stands for java web start so it tells our plugin that's uh, that's uh, being attempted to run from the website to tell it to use java web start as a as a means of running so when we click open on here see it says java web start launch it's going to launch our web application that's based off java and then we can just click ok apply and then ok and then it would do so next time you run it uh, it may ask you to click open but next time you click open it's just going to run it as a java plugin okay now in case you have a program that's downloaded to your computer um, locally and it's a Java there's a way also to reset that as well sometimes Java plugins work like that okay uh, the easiest way to uh, troubleshoot these or to basically is to um, reinstall them or basically delete them so before we do this you got to make sure you have the name of the website again that provided this locally installed Java files for you okay so before we go ahead and do this make sure you have that link Okay, so in order to see what's locally installed when it comes to Java on your computer, we would go to Java Control Panel and you can leave it under General tab and then select under Temporary Internet Folders, you can go ahead and select the view. Now this may take a little bit to pull up depending on how many you have, so um, just kind of be patient with it, okay? Luckily on my computer I only have one thing and this is what it comes up with. Okay, so here it is. Now this is what I have locally installed as a Java plugin, if you will, or application. So from here to troubleshoot, the best way to troubleshoot is to delete it, okay? And then you, once you delete it, you're just gonna click this X right here, okay? And sometimes you would have a green button here that says, uh, basically you click it and it would run it. Basically then it would pull up if it's a locally installed program, it would just go ahead and pull it up for you. But the best way and the the simplest way to troubleshoot it is to delete it and then go back to your website, run it again, and let it go through the motions of installing itself again. Okay. So this is more of a um, this is more of a desktop support type of uh, tutorial, if you will. Occasionally, uh, home users will come across these issues, but this is something that I come across a lot at work. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, share it with friends and family. And then I'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.